The progress of Chievo in the Italian Football League structure since the first season of a unified Serie A. Only seasons in the top four tiers appear in the graph. Associazione Calcio Chievo Verona, commonly referred to as Chievo Verona or simply Chievo, Chievo is a former professional Italian football club named after and based in Chievo. A suburb of 4,500 inhabitants in Verona, Veneto, and owned by Paloani, a bakery product company and the inspiration for their original name, Paloani Chievo. During its years as a professional club, Chievo shared the 38,402 seater Marcantonio Benigotti Stadium with its crosstown rivals Hellas Verona. Following the club's exclusion from professional football in 2021, Chievo is solely running as a youth team for the current 2021 22 season. The team was founded in 1929 by a small number of football fans from Chievo, a Verona Frage one. Initially, the club was not officially affiliated to the Italian Football Federation but nonetheless played several amateur tournament and friendly matches under the denomination OND Chievo, a title imposed by the fascist regime. The club's formal debut in an official league was on November 8, 1931. The team colors at the time were blue and white. Chievo disbanded in 1936, however, due to economic woes but returned to play in 1948 after World War II, being registered in the Regional League of Sakona Division. In 1957, the team moved to the field Carl Antonio Bottagizio, where they played until 1986. In 1959, after the restructuring of the football leagues, Chievo was admitted to play the Seconda Categoria, a regional league placed next to last in the Italian football pyramid. That year, Chievo changed its name to Cardi Chievo, after a new sponsor, and was quickly promoted to the Prima Categoria, from which it experienced its first ever relegation in 1962. In 1964, Luigi Campidelli, a businessman and owner of the Paloani Company, was named new Chievo chairman. Under Campidelli's presidency, Chievo climbed through the entire Italian football pyramid, reaching the Serie D after the 1974-75 season. Under the name Paloani Chievo, the team was promoted to Serie C2 in 1986. As a consequence of promotion, Chievo was forced to move to the Stadio Marcantonio Benigotti, the main venue in Verona, Another promotion, to Serie C1, followed in 1989. In 1990, the team changed its name to its current one, AC Chievo Verona. In 1992, President Luigi Campidelli, who had returned at the helm of the club two years before, died of a heart attack, and his son Luca Campidelli, aged just 23, became the new and youngest chairman of an Italian professional football club. Campidelli promoted Giovanni Sartori to director of football and named Alberto Malassani as the new head coach. Under Malassani, the team astonishingly won the Serie C1 and was promoted to Serie B, where city rival Hellas Verona was playing at the time. In 1997, after Malassani signed for Fiorentina, Silvio Baldini was appointed the new head coach. The following season, with Domenico Casso as the coach, saw the first dismissal of a coach during the presidency of Luca Campidelli, with Casso being fired and replaced with Lorenzo Bailstro. It was during these years that the nickname Musi Villani was born. It originated from supporters of their crosstown rivals Hellas, who would mock long-suffering Chievo supporters that Chievo will only be promoted if donkeys could fly. In 2001, Luigi Del Neri was signed as coach and led Chievo, by virtue of its third-place finish in Serie B, to promotion to Serie A, the first time in team history that it had reached the top tier of Italian football. In 2001-02, Chievo's Serie A debut season, the team was most critics' choice for an instant return to Serie B however, they became the surprise team in the league. Playing often spectacular and entertaining football and even leading the league for six consecutive weeks. The club finally ended the season with a highly respectable fifth-place finish, qualifying the team to play in the UEFA Cup. Chievo's impressive performance inspired a 2002 book about soccer economics titled Fenomeno Chievo. Economia, Costume, Società by Marco Vitali. In 2002-03, Chievo debuted at the European level but were eliminated in the first round by Red Star Belgrade. The team finished the Serie A season in 7th place, again proving itself one of the better Serie A teams. The 2003-04 season, the last with Del Neri at the helm, saw Chievo finish 9th. The 2004-05 season is remembered as one of the toughest ever in Chievo's history. Mario Beretta, a Serie A novice from Ternana, was named coach, but after a strong start that brought Chievo to third behind Juventus and Milan, the team slowly lost position in the league table. 
With three matches remaining in the season, Kievo was third from last, a position which would see it relegated to Serie B. As a last resort. Beretta was fired and Maurizio D'Angelo, a former Kievo player, was appointed temporarily to replace him as coach. Morale improved, and two wins and a draw from the final three matches proved just enough to keep Kievo in Serie A. In 2005-06, Giuseppe Pion of Treviso FBC was appointed as new coach. The team experienced a return to the successful Del Neri era, both in style of play and results, which resulted in Kievo ending the season in 7th and gaining a berth in the UEFA Cup. However, because of the football scandal involving several top-class teams, all of which finished higher than Kievo in the 2005-06 season, the Flying Donkeys were awarded a place in the next Champions League preliminary phase. On July 14, 2006, the verdict in the scandal was made public. Juventus, Milan, and Fiorentina, who had all originally qualified for the 2006-07 Champions League, and Lazio, who had originally qualified for the 2006-07 UEFA Cup, were all banned from UEFA competition for the 2006-07 season. Although Milan were allowed to enter the Champions League after their appeal to the FIC, Kievo took up a place in the third qualifying stage of the competition along with Milan and faced Bulgarian side Levski Sofia. Kievo lost the first leg 2-0 in Sofia and managed a 2-2 home draw on the second leg and were eliminated by a 4-2 aggregate score with Levski advancing to the Champions League group stage. As a Champions League third-round qualifying loser, Kievo was given a place in the UEFA Cup final qualifying round. On August 25, 2006, they were drawn to face Portuguese side Braga. The first leg, played on 14 September in Braga, ended in a 2-0 win for the Portuguese. The return match, played on 28 September in Verona, although won by Kievo 2-1, resulted in a 3-2 aggregate loss and the club's elimination from the competition. On October 16, 2006, following a 1-0 defeat against Torino, head coach Giuseppe Pion was fired, and replaced by Luigi Del Neri, one of the original symbols of the miracle Chievo, who had led the club to the Serie A in 2002. On May 27, 2007, the last match day of the 2006-07 Serie A season, Chievo was one of five teams in danger of falling into the last undecided relegation spot. Needing only a draw against Catania, a direct competitor in the relegation battle, Kievo lost 2-0 playing on a neutral field in Bologna. Wins by Parma, Siena and Regina condemned Kievo to Serie B for the 2007-08 season after six seasons in the top flight. Even as a relatively successful Serie A team the club, which averages only 9,000 to 10,000 fans and is kept afloat mainly by money from television rights, does not have the same number of fan supporters as Hellas, the oldest team in Verona. The difference between the club's supporters' number was highlighted during local derby games played in season 2001-02 at the club's shared stadium when, for Kievo's home fixtures, the Kievo fans were located in the away end of the stadium, the area of the stadium Kievo's supporters for years claimed as theirs. In fact the main supporters' faction's name is North Side, the side of the stadium usually assigned to away team supporters, while most of the rest of the stadium seats were assigned to Hellas supporters. Kievo bounced back quickly from the disappointment of their relegation on the last match day of 2006-07, going in search of an immediate promotion back to the top flight. After the expected departure of several top quality players including Franco Semioli, Salvatore Lana, Matteo Brighi, Paolo Samarco and Arion Bogdani, the manager Del Neri also parted ways with the club. Giuseppe Iaschini replaced him and the captain, Lorenzo Donna, gave way to Sergio Pellissier at the end of the transfer window. A new squad was constructed, most notably including the arrivals of midfielders Maurizio Ciromitaro and Simone Bedavoglio, defender Caesar and forward Antimo Ionco. This new incarnation of the Gialablu were crowned winter champions, en route to a 41st matchday promotion after a 1-1 draw at Grosseto left them four points clear of third place Lecce with one match remaining. In addition to winning promotion, they were conferred with the Ali della Vittoria trophy on the final match day of the season their first league title of any kind in 14 years. In their first season back to the top flight, Kievo immediately struggled in the league resulting in the dismissal of Iashini in November and his replacement with former Parma boss Domenico Di Carlo. After Di Carlo's appointment, Kievo managed a remarkable resurgence that led the Gialablu out of the relegation zone after having collected just 9 points from their first 17 matches. Highlight matches included a 3-0 defeat of Lazio at the Stadio Olimpico, and a thrilling 3-3 draw. 
Away to Juventus in which captain and long-time Chievo striker Sergio Pellicier scored a late equaliser to complete his first career hat-trick. A series of hard-fought draws against top clubs Roma, Internazionale and Genoa in the final stretch of the season solidified CEO's position outside the drop zone and Serie A status was finally confirmed on match day 37 with a home draw against Bologna. A largely unchanged lineup earned safety the following season with four match days to spare, and Chievo is therefore a part of the inaugural Lega Calcio Serie A in 2010-11. Their third consecutive season in the top flight of Italian football. Lorenzo Donna remained as coach of the club for the 2018-19 season after replacing Rolando Moran during the 2017-18 season. On 13th of September, Chievo were deducted three points after being found guilty of false accounting on exchanging players with Cesena. President Luca Campidelli was banned for three months as a result of the scheme. Chievo were officially relegated on April 14, 2019 after a 3-1 home loss to Napoli. In July 2021, Chievo was expelled from Serie B for the 2021-22 season for being unable to prove its financial viability due to outstanding tax payments. The club argued that there was an agreement in place during the COVID-19 pandemic that allowed them to spread the payments out over a longer period. However, after three unsuccessful appeals, the decision to bar Chievo Verona from registering to Serie B was upheld, with Cosenza taking their place in Serie B over the next month. Former captain Sergio Pellicier led the search for a new ownership group to allow a Phoenix club to compete in Serie D under the Chievo name. However, on 21st of August, Pellicier announced in an Instagram post that no owners were found in time for the Serie D registration deadline. The original Chievo club has in the meantime appealed to the Council of State against its exclusion and is currently registered in no division, albeit still with the right to apply for a spot in an amateur league of Veneto in the following weeks. Campidelli eventually opted to keep the club alive as a youth team for the 2021-22 season, while Pellicier decided instead to found a new club himself, which was admitted to Terza Categoria at the very bottom of the Italian Football League system, the club. Originally named FC Chievo 2021, was then renamed to FC Clivens following a legal warning from AC Chievo Verona. Note, this list includes players that have reached international status. The club's original colors were blue and white and not the current blue and yellow. The club's historic nickname is Giallablu, although throughout Italian football, the Verona's team recognized in the past by most fans as Giallablu or Hellas Verona, Chievo's main rivals. Local supporters often call the club simply CEO, which is Venetian for Chievo. The club is now sometimes referred to as the I Musi Villani. The Flying Donkey's nickname was originally used by fans from crosstown rivals Hellas to mock Chievo. The two clubs first met in Serie B in the mid-1990s, with Hellas chanting Quando I Musi Villara, Il CEO in Serie A, Donkeys will fly before Chievo are in Serie. However, once Chievo earned promotion to Serie A at the end of the 2001 Serie B season, Chievo fans started to call themselves the Flying Donkeys. The current club crest represents Cangrand I della Scala, a medieval lord of Verona. Stadio Marcantonio Benigotti is a stadium in Verona, Italy. It is also the home of Chievo Verona city rival Hellas. Inaugurated as a state-of-the-art facility and as one of Italy's finest venues in 1963, the stadium appeared excessive for a team that had spent the best part of the previous 35 years in Serie B for the 1990 FIFA World Cup renovations included an extra tier and a roof to cover all sections. Improved visibility, public transport connections, an urban motorway connecting the city centre with the stadium and the Verona-Nor motorway exit and services. Thanks for watching.